Welcome to this video. My name is Mark Scythian. This lecture is going to focus on mean aerodynamic cord. So if you're working with a swept back or a tapered wing or any other type of wing plan form, which is not rectangular, finding that equivalency to one third of the MAC of a rectangular wing applied to non-rectangular wings is the premise of mean aerodynamic cord. So if we use the formula specified here for mean aerodynamic cord, which is the root cord times 0.66 or two thirds as a quantity fraction, then the ratio of one plus the taper ratio plus the taper ratio squared, this quantity then divided into one plus the taper ratio. So if we identify the root cord, that's 5.5 feet. Calculating the taper ratio, that is the tip cord divided into the root cord. So in this case, 0.4090. So then we substitute the components into the MAC formula, simplify in orders of operation. So then it leaves the mean aerodynamic cord of the given wing at 4.07 feet mean aerodynamic cord from the leading edge to the trailing edge. So now we can apply the one third of mean aerodynamic cord as the center lift, COL, and our center of gravity at two thirds of the mean aerodynamic cord, thus identifying the COL and CG respectively.